Y'all know it's Friday. It is finally Friday. Finally, finally, finally. Wow, roll cart city in here. We did get some roll carts in. That's good. We're gonna do some bundle deals like we normally do with those. Uh, if that's what the customer wants, if they don't, if they want something different, we'll do something different. If they want just a cart, we'll do just the cart. But That's a cool bumper design, it's a rubber. So that's the new updated design. I know we talked about it a long time ago. We were gonna be having a, a different design the problem that we were having with the other ones, um, you know, they were a hard plastic style. Yeah. When you ratchet strapped them into the truck, even if you left it a little bit loose, it would still, if it, if it got in a bind, it would crack right there. Yeah. Um, so they come, they, they thought about these, they've proven to be a lot better. They don't crack, stuff like that. Oh so. yeah, you can see you got that and cranked in there. Yep. Well, when you got two beside each other. Yeah, they'll uh, rub if you don't. Which even the uh, even the old ones, you could do that. And as long as you didn't get past that breaking point, yeah. as soon as you let off, it would go back to the normal state. That right there would be a lot more durable too, yep. bumping stuff and all that. So. Yeah, with the roll carts, you definitely want to be able to have just that. You want to be able to roll it from, from car to car. Yep. And you, you've got to expect it to, to bump into stuff every once in a while. So. Or crap falling against it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, um, just normal life. Yeah. You know, I've, I've seen people put their first scratches in it as soon as they buy it, just so they can say they did the first scratch. But uh, I'm a little different. Mm. I, I couldn't do that. But yeah. I'll just be mad when the first scratch happens. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Let's see how long I make it without doing Absolutely. the scratch. Absolutely. Oh yeah, you got a two S and then another big cart back there. Yeah, uh, I was supposed to be going to pick up two carts, and somehow there was a third one there. So, how does that hammer finish sell compared to like the the slick finish? Is it better? Or? Uh, well, the hammer finish don't come in a bunch of colors. Uh, it used to come in three. And I think we're down to two now. So. It's slower in sense of I can't get every color in it, right. but when the people want black or gray, they would much rather have the hammer finish because it hides the scratches and everything else. I mean, yeah. you touch up something on it, uh, it's it's very hard to tell sure. because of the wavies in it. Yeah. Uh, you touch up something on slick, I mean, you're, you're going to notice it right away. So. Well, what's your best selling cart color that you've had the best look with? Oh boy. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna say one of those two there. That thunderstorm gray is really popular. Mm -hmm. The blue is popular. Um, everybody tries to get away from the traditional colors. Um, yeah, the red and the green and the yeah. white. Yeah, so the green, um, everybody has a different favorite color green. Mm -hmm. You know, you got military green, which did great. Then they had the screaming green, which was like really bright that some people was like, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, so green's hard to hit. There's too many variations of that. Well, when you stand right here and look, like you got that green that's on that those knives. Yep. And then the glove's a different green, and that box is a different green, and then there's a lot of different colors of green. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, there's a lot of different people. Like got a lot I of like different. my favorite out of the green color. I like this sort of uh, yellowy green yep. better than I do high vis green. Yeah. Like the I like that better than I do just the uh, dark green. Yeah. yeah, color color is definitely one thing on the green that it gets hard. But blue's kind of that way, you know. Some blue kind of has a purpley look to it, and some blues blue blue and right. And yeah, get into dark blue and. I don't know. Everybody likes that shade of blue. Yeah, I don't know if they royal just, blue. I don't know if they just hit it on the head with that one, um, but I haven't had any complaints on that blue. Yeah. Um, same as the thunderstorm gray there. Don't really have any complaint on that. Now you're you're red, you're black. Um, people have seen that for years, mm -hmm. um, and I guess they're just kind of oh, wore great. out on it. It's kind of like our maroon. Yeah. You still got a few people that like maroon stuff, um, but mostly they won't. They would take any other color impact other than maroon. Yeah. So, but you got some people that's all they want. You know, we had people yesterday. Uh, 
we've got grinders on sale and we had the green, we had the orange, but nope, won't we'll, we'll want the maroon, so order me the maroon. So that's what we did. I mean, we were ordering what he wants. But Absolutely. It's just one of those things. Like, I, I like the orange a lot too. You know? Yeah. It's just, I'm an orange fan. Obviously, I got an orange roll cart. <laughs> you know, so I like orange, but. Orange is a good color. Well, what new, cool, exciting tool do you well, have? Well, this ain't necessarily a tool, but this is something that Mako joined with Bump Box on. We've got the exclusivity on it right now. Right. It's the Mako. Everybody knows the Bump Box. They got the big speakers. You've seen them on here. Then mm -hmm. they got the smaller speakers. Everybody's seen them. Everybody likes them. Um, so they got the sound stick for us. Um, it's something a little bit more price friendly. Uh, it's not as big, a little bit more mobile. Um, but does it jam like it does. the big one? It does. Well, you're not gonna be as loud as the big one, Sure. but yeah. for its size, it is loud. Okay. So what we normally do is we normally crank this thing up and let it go, and it does really well. Uh, but we ran the battery down on it, so it is dead this morning. It played all day yesterday. Everybody got to pick their favorite song. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, you'll hear everything from Baby Shark to country to rap to everything. But as you can see, a nice looking speaker. Um, it does have our uh, name and stuff on it there. You can join this to another one. Okay. Um, so they do sync together. That was a big question with the bigger ones and stuff like that. And I know when we saw these at... Um, Expo, that was the number one question. Can sure. you pair them to two? Um, it does have an anti-slip magnet on the back. Oh, the whole that whole thing's a magnet. Yeah, wow. so anti-slip and Bluetooth. It has a, a auxiliary cable as well. It has LED lights that light up as well. Um, my kids like it because they get to sit there and dance around. And, yeah, uh, I sure. can't hear the TV, but they get to dance around <laughs> and play. I know uh, Saturday they had it going while my wife was cooking breakfast i was in there watching tv and i couldn't hear it i heard the music when i heard it but that's okay that's cool but pretty nice speaker um they're selling super quick though um we ordered 10 thinking that you know we got them to where we could sell them for about 139 at the time mm -hmm. that's right in right in the area where you know we had the green we had the yeah. other black ones they were about 100 of course this one's bigger um, so 139 sounded like a good price point. So we thought, well, 10, 10 will be good. They're gone. Um, this one's actually my wife's, but, uh, we've got more coming, but I've noticed some distributors order 20, some order 30 and they're already saying they're out of them. So they're sure. quick moving. So if you want one of them, it might be good to go ahead and ask your dealer to set you set one back, do whatever, text him, text him or her. Cause we do have. Uh, women distributors as well, but text your dealer and say, "Hey, put me one back." Are they waterproof, rainproof? Uh, are they just strictly inside stuff? I think I think inside. I don't see it on the box anywhere. I honestly didn't even think to look at that. Uh, yeah, don't. I don't see where it says anything about that. I'd probably keep this one inside. You know, we had the little bitty ones that. Yeah. Uh, they were. They were. Uh, waterproof. This one doesn't say that. I think the other bump box is the same way. Okay. I don't know that they make a um, waterproof one. I'll check into that to see. Well, order uh, me one of them when you order them. I, I def like I said, I've got some on order, so I'll put you one back. I was going to see if it... Uh... Yeah, it don't say nothing about that. But Yeah, I'll... They're, I like them. And of course, as soon as they come in, we went straight to nine because Leslie won one, mm -hmm. so um, she has it stuck to the refrigerator right now. And I decided before I left this morning, I was like, "Well, that's a good time for me to to show <laughs> it." So it. I show it so I boxed it up and brought it with me. But there you go. Uh, it's a nice little tool. You know, sometimes it's good to get on the tool truck and buy a toy. Uh, mm -hmm. We we claim our tools as toys, but sometimes it's good to have yourself a toy. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I have seen speakers save people's. Uh, job uh, at certain points because that car has made them so mad that they're ready to quit 
you cut a little music up yeah. and they get in that space and that problem that used to be a problem is no longer a problem mm -hmm. uh, everybody deals with stress a little different but i know when i walk in some shops if that music's blaring it's been a bad day uh, and in some shops it's going to be blaring regardless yeah. so i like music a lot i keep it on all the time yeah uh, of course my spotify year-end review shows that i think <laughs> this year it was like four months of non-stop non-stop four months that's uh that's a lot uh, I like music when the TV ain't on, but... Say, I'd rather listen to music than I had to sit down and watch TV. That's just me. Yeah. Everybody's different, you know, but... Like, I can't sit... It's hard for me to sit down. I don't know if I've got ADHD or what, but it's hard for me to v devote two hours to a movie. Like, sit in a chair for two hours without getting up and... Well, I gotta give you that. I... I... I have a hard time watching a two-hour movie. It's yeah. got to be a quick episode. Yeah. I mean, oh, and I'm I'm like if it if it sucks in the first ten minutes, I'm out. Oh, like, if you lose I'm my out. interest at first, yeah, yeah. I'm out. Uh, if the sun's outside, you're not getting me to the TV anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's got to be a quick episode. But like Yellowstone was pretty good because you know it wasn't too long, but it was just long enough. But they did have enough commercial breaks you could get up and do something in between, you know. <laughs> But now, I was the guy that in the first episode of Yellowstone, I made it to like five minutes in. I said, okay, I'm, I gotta do something. <laughs> it took like the third episode before it started getting good to me. Never watched it. That's uh, good. Everybody good. around me watched it. I never, never watched it. It's pretty good. Yeah. I really like watching stuff on like our DVR. Yeah. So I can just fast forward it. Because you know, a lot of parts have got little stuff in it, you know? Like I'm the guy that watches. Um, uh, SVU or Chicago PD shows and stuff like that and I'll fast forward through all the crap and just get to the good stuff. Yeah, I'm more into watching like uh, football, basketball. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why this year, but the women's basketball really caught my attention this year. Um, that was that was fun to watch and of course you've got softball and baseball coming up so that's yeah. always fun. But um, I can watch sports because it's always something going on. Like, right. It's good all the time. You yeah. Know? But a movie, I'm just not a movie guy. Like, it's rare that I'll sit down and watch a full movie. Yeah, it, it has to be a good one. And I get stuck watching the old stuff just because I, that's what I like. I don't know. <laughs> I would much rather sit down and watch, you know, Back to the Future or Andy Griffith or something like yeah. that before I would some of these new movies, which, you know, I'm also, I was also 26 or 27 before I ever saw Men in Black, so, yeah. uh, and that, that, I like that movie a lot, mm. but it took me that long to finally Oh watch man, that movie. I'm the guy that if Roadhouse comes on, even though I've seen it 80 times, I will watch Roadhouse. I watched Roadhouse the first time, uh, I think it was this January, 31 years old, and then that's... Wow, that's good. I don't know, it takes me a while. They're I doing a Roadhouse too, too, is what I've heard, so pretty good as long as they don't ruin it, it yeah. i mean because that's well, a, have you watched casino because it's good i, I don't think i've ever too. seen that uh, and uh blows really good yeah i don't think i've seen that either so, i don't know like i said i uh, i do watch that kind of stuff but it has to be like show enough good stuff for me to really stay into a movie because I get bored really easy because I get to think about all the other stuff I could be doing with that time. So, a lot to be done outside. Yep. All right. How's the purple doing? Purple's doing good. Um, Is it selling as good as the blue? Hmm, that's a hard one. Uh, I don't. I would say no. Um, not not on my truck. I don't know about everybody else's. Um, but for the first six months that blue was out i couldn't keep a ratchet on the on the ceiling yeah um i think blue's got a wider appeal to more people yeah now i have had some people say that they'll buy the purple once the the screwdrivers and stuff mm -hmm. like that um but for right now uh i think it's doing good but it's not doing it's not doing the blue the, the blue took off and i don't think the blue slowed down yet yeah Good. It was good to hear that Blue's here to stay. Um, and, and I like the fact, even though it's not at the Blue capacity right now, I like the fact that we have that option. Mm -hmm. 
I'm the type of person where I want to have every color available. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because, you know, there's a seat for every tail, as they say. Yep. So that's true. Uh, if I have it and they ask for it, I can sell it. If I have it and it's not available, then yep. I'm just sitting there looking. So. <laughs> I'd rather make money than uh, think about money any day. Oh, yeah. Well, man, you got this truck stopped. It is. It, we do have it stocked up. Um, it's full. That's the complete goal this year is to keep it absolutely full at all costs. Um, oh, full. It's, it's taking some getting used to because we're not used to having the the boxes sitting in the floor. Um, but we'll get used to it. I mean, if they're in the floor, they sell. So This thing has put on some weight, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> I would hate to go through a waste station. Uh, I'm not voluntarily going to go through one. I don't blame you. She's loaded down. Well, it looks great. Well, just make sure to save me one of them bump boxes. Yeah, I'll put your name on That'd one of them nice as soon as they come in. Cool deal. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully, you guys enjoy your weekend. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools is in the discount or er, discount codes <laughs> in the description. We've added some new ones in there, so be sure to check them out. A lot of stuff you guys have been looking for. And if you hadn't subscribed, just click that button. Y'all have a week, great weekend. See ya.